All right, for some LED updates, we're running two strips on each one of the engines, one internal facing, one external facing. I just want to show you how that's going to look in the air. That is going to look sick. A lot of printing for the duct work, but hey, it's all going to be worth it right now. I'm doing body work now. And then when this is all finished, it's just going to be so cool on the ground, just lit up and ready to go. <sighs> is that not cool or what? That is such a trip. And they're in sync too. So the inner light and the outer light are on the same, same sequence. So the white travels with the white on this side through the blue. So everything looks uniform, as you can see, from this side. Is that not cool or what? Oh, a lot more work to do, but this is looking so, so cool. So awesome. Now remember this part here at the top, this is something I wanted to add to get a full UFO effect when we're in the air. <laughs> These will be coming out on the bottom half of the drone, too. And they'll all be printed in clear PETG. It's all NeoPixel. It's all hand-soldered. I catted all this, and then I just did a um, uh, spiral vase for a tube. And then I made them each different lengths to kind of give them sort of that, sort of a more organic flow. But all that together... This drone's gonna be massive, and it's gonna be flying in the air, looking like this. I can't wait to show you the body parts. I got one body part coming off the plate, probably tomorrow. But this, this is gonna be awesome.